What is going on, happy people? Woke up this morning, it's blowing probably 15, 20 knots, but I haven't fished in so long that I'm getting the itch. So right now, Sarah is over at the new house. She's staining all of our trim boards, all of our accent wall boards. She's doing all kinds of stuff at the new house. She wants fresh fish. She's like, go find us fish. And so I got my bait box. I'm gonna grab some live shrimp and I'm gonna show you how to catch something to eat on a windy day. All right, so the one thing nice about this, you can just pick it out and all your shrimp right there, you're not digging in your water over and over and over and over again. All right, I'm a huge believer in you catch the best fish when you have the best bait. You have good live shrimp, you can ease around. We're gonna locate snook, jacks, snapper, moonfish, grunts, redfish. We're gonna be, look, we're gonna be after it all. I got nothing, but I can promise you, as a kid, you'd always be so stoked to see your picture on the wall at the local bait and tackle shop. Drop a thumbs up if you did the same thing at your bait and tackle shops. Now, as time has gone on, social media, everyone posts their pictures online, but that is the original brag board. Now it's time to pay. Now it's time to pay. Well, like I said just a second ago, this is called deer meat for dinner. Not deadliest catch. It's blowing about 30 knots right out of the north, northeast. You've got a big swell and it's dangerous out here. Just wanted to come out and show you how ugly this ocean can get. We're gonna head back in the inlet. We ain't going back till we catch something. All right, you guys, so I'm doing a video right now on how to catch fish for dinner on a windy day. That's Lawson Lindsay. Drop a thumbs up if you wanna see me do a video with Lawson Lindsay. This youngster's always back here fishing, has a ton of knowledge, and does a great job. Lawson, I'll call you later, okay? See you, buddy. All right, man, so cool. Like the locks, we're in the Loxahatchee River right now. This is where I grew up. And there's just such great fishing in this area. What you're looking for, Right now, the tide is going out. It's kind of low. Looking for deep holes in shadowed areas. So, uh, anywhere there's a big boat, when that big boat comes in and parks, it will, it will blow out a deep hole. And then the boat creates a shadow. So that's what we're looking for right now. A lot of times whenever I come in here, anchor the boat up and then I rig because what I want, I want everything just to settle down, calm down. If you come in here, anchor the boat up, start chunking baits in the water, the fish are like, uh, yeah, okay. And they get spooked off. That's about the perfect size shrimp, nice and frisky. Check your drag. Ooh, right there on the edge of that boat. Whenever I'm fishing like this, I keep my bale open. So if he eats it, I can give it to him. Then flip the bale over, come tight, catch him. Ooh, look at him, look at him, look at him jumping on the surface. That shrimp was like, get me out of here. Look at him on the surface. Oh, there's a little snapper right under him. I have a feeling we just found our spot. He's gonna get pounded right there. Look at him right on the surface. Right on the edge of the shadow. Come on. This is one of those days where it would have been easier just to say, yeah, honey, I'm gonna go catch us dinner, drive to the grocery store, buy some fish, make some kind of far-fetched story, but problem with Sarah is now she knows what fresh fish tastes like. You can't be playing that game with her. She'll call your bluff. She's like, not hard like Jack. There we go. Right here. Got him. What do we have here? How in the world? 
That catfish just came up here and snagged that bait. Right. These Engel live bait coolers, they hold bait so well, especially when it's super hot or super cold. When we're up ice fishing, your bait doesn't freeze. And then when you're in a super hot area, the water stays cool and your live bait stays alive. Get over there. Come here. This is, this might be him. Come here. Whoa, we're getting very, very, very close. Now, here's the thing. That's a schoolmaster. That's a totally different kind of snapper. Let's see how long he is real quick. All right, he's 10 inches. Let's put him in the live bait wall and see how long he has to be. I go to fish rules, type in schoolmaster. 10 inches, baby. Open season, I can have 10 of them. Minimum size, 10 inches, total length. I guarantee you that sucker's getting cooked. Ooh, right in there. Ooh, just got nailed. Got him right here. Whoa! What do I have, y'all? Whoa! Sucker's fighting, y'all. White tackle. Hey, don't call me proud. I've eaten these suckers before, and little jacks like that are fine. We'll roast him on an oven. See that? Little jack, throw him in the well. It's all starting to come together now, y'all. So I wonder what Sarah's doing. I'm at the house right now. That entire wall is gonna be cypress, and I have to stain every board. But besides that wall, we have all the baseboards, all the casings, everything is gonna be cypress. And to save some money, I'm like, let me try to do it myself. So I just left Benjamin Moore. They gave me this awesome shirt, and a guy by the name of Jay was super helpful. He went and explained everything I need to do, sanding, staining, then finishing it with a clear coat, it's a lot of work and I have a lot of boards. That's the start of what I have to do. So I have a huge day ahead of me, um, but at least I got a sweet shirt out of the deal and I won't ruin mine. The fish, you can see that little shadow line. The fish are sitting right there. Oh, that's him, that's the big one. Come here, buddy. This is a keeper. In the boat. Yes! <laughs> we have dinner now, y'all. Look at that mangrove snapper in the river. Yes, what a chunk. What a chunk. I love it when a plan comes together. Birds up there telling me how excited he is that we're gonna be cooking fish. Oh, another good thing. With these uh, bait coolers, they also act as a great cooler to throw your fish in. All I did was I dumped out some of the water, threw a bag of ice in there, you've got an automatic fish brine. Now, that's that schoolmaster. Schoolmasters are a type of snapper. They typically will live around the reef or around the structure. You can use a scaler, you can use a knife, a spoon, or you can use the water hose. You just wash them scales right off. See that? Just with water pressure, you can wash them off. Now we have our fish fully scaled. 
And you know, I typically use my wood, my uh, my silver stag fillet knife, but I'm just showing you things today that anyone can do. That's just a dull knife that's sitting in my house. Um, we're gonna take it and we're just gonna cut through there, get all the guts out of this fish. Even when you're cooking a whole fish, I still am a firm believer that you need to get the guts out. Then reach in here, get these gills. This is all stuff that you don't need when you're cooking the fish. Cut it right down here. Take, take the knife and just pull them bones right out. Up top here. Cut right along them bones there. Turn them over. Again, this is not the recommended knife to be filleting with, but it works. Take that, take All we're trying to do is get them fish. There you go. Hour and a half ago, that thing was swimming around in the Loxhatch River. Now, it's gonna be taking a deep dive into the oven. Schoolmaster Mangrove Snapper, gray snapper. And uh, first and foremost, I wanna take some butter and lather this sucker up. I almost forgot to do something. Luckily, I just remembered. We wanna score them. You don't need to cut them real thick, just, just enough so that the fish absorb some of the flavor. Take a little original Everglades. Fresh picked pepper. Little herb, that's parsley. Chives. Ginger. And take this rascal, set him right up there. Just like that. Then we'll take some onion rings and just overlap these onion rings just like that and they will wilt down. There you go. There's our fish ready to go. Got the broiler set. Put him right in there. All right, good deal. Now, while that cooks, I gotta give a huge shout out to all of y'all. When we were up in Canada, we mentioned writing letters and maybe sending us, sending some stuff for the Bahamas. I am happy to announce that there was over 320,000 pounds of goods shipped from that hangar to the Bahamas. Now, some of it was shipped to the Abacos, some was shipped to Freeport, and some was shipped to Nassau, but I wanna tell you, every bit of it was shipped to the Bahamas. There were thousands of cards. All of you wrote so many cards, sent it in, and it was shipped over there. Now, me, Jake from D Almighty, Brandon Jigging with Jordan, Yappy Tuan Tuan, Blue Gabe, Dear Mom, we're all getting on a plane on October 1st and flying over. So there's so much good coming up. I appreciate all of you. And this whole schoolmaster cooked in a broiler is a main staple. So many people in the Bahamas eat that all the time. So this dish is dedicated to all of you. Everybody, I thank you for being a part of this. Today's been a fun day, and uh, I can't wait to go over to the house and see what Sarah's doing. Mm. My glass is just fogged up on me. Come on. There you go. Fresh, schoolmaster, and homemade pineapple upside down cake. 
hey, if you guys want me to do a video with my mom showing you how to make a cast iron skillet pineapple upside down cake, leave in the comments below because that's my favorite. And that is Sarah's lunch. Let's take it to her. Are you getting any work done or what? Yeah, Dave came in here and helped me put all these up. How often have you ever seen a guy show up with fresh fish to his wife who is staining trim boards? <laughs> Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for this food. Thank you for my family. I pray that you bless this house and those that are, are here. Please keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. And it's my dad's 16th birthday today. So happy birthday, dad. I love you. Hey, Mr. Keith. Happy birthday, hombre. How's it feel to be 60, Dad? But I love how the onions take on the flavor of the entire dish. It's like the onions are, are mm -hmm. steamed in it. Mm. But that's all I got for you right now. Take care, God bless. We gone.